Hello, space engineers. Welcome back to another episode of Far From Home. You find me still trying to recover from the Reaver Devourer attack. We have managed to salvage the Reaver a little bit. It is attached to the front of the ship there. We have a lot of this going on. Space Pirate Raider drones. So today we are going to work on that reaver wreck, hopefully finish salvaging it, and go deal with the space pirate raiders. I'm going to put one of the thrusters from the reaver back here. Hopefully we'll fix some of the uh, damage that we have incurred here, right? There's quite a lot of, quite a lot of damage going on here, right? Lots of stuff is messed up. So we're going to fix all of this stuff, or well, we're going to fix some of it. The most important thing is we're going to get this fixed, finished, and then we're going to print two more of them. And um, we're going to give them some trial runs on these uh, space pirate drones. Oh, there's a Reaper Thrasher. Right. So let's send that away before it decides to come over here and be mean to us. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, the decoy launcher just works every time now, like it never goes the wrong direction. Having the gyro on there was exactly what needed to happen. It's hilarious to find all the ammo lying around from all the drones exploding. Okay, so we're now draining the batteries. I want to fix this. So we need to get this working or at least repaired. We're gonna get this hydrogen thruster fixed and we're gonna place another thruster on the back of the donut here. Now, where do we wanna put that thruster exactly? What do we want the back of the donut to look like? I was gonna put all the thrusters on the right hand side, uh, moving the one on the left there over one more. And I think it'll be okay to at least put the new one underneath this one. So we're going to put it right here with one space in between. And what I need is some steel plates. So let's get some steel plates and sort of lay out where this is going to go. Oh, that's one of the um, reaver grinders. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of uh, ammo starting to pile up, which is nice. That is super nice. It's nuts to have that. Okay, so let's get the rest of our dealios here. All right. So if that thruster is going to go basically right next to this one, it's going to go right there. We're going to put a welder down here to fix everything. Keep everything up to snuff. So, put that welder right there. Which means that right in here where this girder is, I need to put some uh, conveyor access for the welder. Uh, which I should be able to just carve that out. Carve that out. And put a reinforced conveyor in here. Let's change the color scheme to something different. It's good for now.
And then we need a corner. And then we need a welder right here. Right there. Ugh, a reefer impaler. That's serious business. We need that to go away. A reefer impaler would really cause a lot of damage. Oh, and I still haven't done this yet because I would love to not be prepared so that when a reefer comes to get me, it can get me. That'd just be great if I stop doing that. Because this takes a minute and then sending it away takes a minute. And it's like, by the time I get done with all this stuff, like, I could get attacked. I mean, like, he could have attacked me by now. Send it over to the unknown signal, I guess. Away it goes. I'm going to put another uh, T junction. Not sure what that's for exactly, but put it in. Put one in like that. I'm going to put a straight piece on. Actually, we're going to put a. Uh, Junction here. Junction. Put a straight piece on. And uh, then that thruster is going to go right there, so I need a weld pad. Ah, that's supposed to be a welder, not a grinder. We're getting the speedman out because we're going to go over to the reaver wreck and we're going to cut that large thruster off. Going to get a thruster. I'm going to pull all the thrusters off of this thing and then I'm going to grind it down. Okay, that is really cool. Let's uh, make it easier to get this thing out of here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that. Now we should be able to get this thing out of here. This is going to be a lot easier for me to deal with, this orientation. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it's not on, but... Yeah, it can't get stuff. So there's something broken in that linkage. Which, I mean, it did get pounded really hard here. So let's cut our way in here and let's check out the linkages in here and see if any of them got broken. What is going on? We don't have... Like, is this not hooked up? Like, can I do stuff with this? Probably not. Ah, okay. So it's farther back in this line here. Okay.
why is that not working? So this guy can't get components. Okay. So we can't get components. So something in the conveyor network must be broken. Oh, well, we did take kind of a pounding down here. And where else is that? The blocks look good. So is there a problem under here? That block looks good. That block's good. That block's good. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's not good. Okay, well, let's fix that. Come on, now what's wrong? I'm not saying this is wrong, but... So I'm trying to get this welder to work here and it's not working so I still have some parts of my conveyoring system that don't work yet and I don't really know what's going on with that so I'm gonna repair a bunch of stuff and then see what we're left with because I feel like I've already done everything I can do like the line looks hooked up to me so I don't understand so I'm gonna repair this stuff since there's something in here I'm just missing somewhere I don't know oh my gosh why can't I get why is this not working yet why what why so the first thing to do is check to see if this hydrogen container is hooked up to the rest of the conveyor network can I, uh, can I draw things? Let's try this. Oh, it works. Okay, if that works, then I should be able to get everything to there. Oh. Uh, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? Okay, I think we finally solved this. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, so I was going to um, salvage the rest of these thrusters and take care of everything before I go over and take care of that Space Pirate Raider, but that's not working out very well because I keep getting attacked by a million raider drones while I'm trying to do everything so it takes me forever to do anything and I would like to salvage the power out of all of these drone carcasses I'd like this to not take me forever so I actually want to um, kind of leave this stuff here and go after that space pirate raider the goal in that case would be to put the tug away the major damage here finish these guns then we can go over to the space pirate raider and take care of him and when we're done with him we'll come back here and finish with all this this will also give us an opportunity to pick up all the scrap as we go over there. So, I think the first thing that we're going to do is um, deal with this. We're going to get these thrusters off of here, basically. So we're just going to carve most of this down. And uh, then when we're done carving this down, we can... Uh, a little armor around those thrusters and finish the guns. There's quite a lot to do really to get. I mean, if I want to save any of the salvage, there's 
I don't want to do. These drones are kind of, you know, I mean, they are like an inventory load of like high quality uh, salvage, you know, so it is sort of substantial. Insanely close. When did that guy get so close to me? Hurry up. That's really close. Wow, that's just too close. He's so close, he looks so big. He's going to leave. Which is great. <laughs> Let's get another decoy ready so we can stop screwing that up. happened here oh my gosh this is totally not cool so it looks like I got hit with an assault cannon around here or something um, it's <laughs> it's been a little bit scary lately because I've been looking at the hydrogen tanks every once in a while and discovering that they're at like 68% or so and need to be repaired so I'm going to need more protection. I've never spent so much time repairing a ship in this game. Not even close. Man, we've taken such a pounding. I mean, it's like... It's not like the ship doesn't have parts of it that are still not damaged, but like, so much has been damaged. This is all just temporary to um, just kind of keep things from getting totally mutilated. I'm going to end up changing this later, but that's everything on the ship. I'm going to end up changing it later. <laughs> Gonna need another gyro, at least one. And I kinda think this is a good spot for one. Right there. Okay, so we have made plenty of repairs to the donut. It is uh, pretty much ready to be beaten up again. 
Um, except for these. I need to put at least some basic armor around these thrusters for now until um, you know I have time to design what that part of the ship is going to be like. Just, um, just to keep the darn things from getting beaten up so badly when we get attacked. So I'm going to lay that out and weld that up, hopefully, uh, before I get too many attacks from the space pirates. We'll see how it goes. Why am I welding all of this stuff up by hand? Well, the tug doesn't have a weld pod right now, and I have some ideas about what I want to do for a weld pod that are a little different from what I had before. So, um, I'm kind of hesitant to build one and then tear it down again. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I just kind of don't really want to, I guess. Wow, lots and lots of welding to do. Good thing steel is something we will never run out of. I haven't been attacked by a space pirate raider drone in quite a while. So I kind of wonder if there's like a limit now. In any case, we got this silliness um, done. So now, if we uh, cut this guy loose, we can come back for him. So let's disconnect this. Okay, now let's check the battery. Five years. Okay, so this thing will be here forever now. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. Oh, let's uh, send that Reaver Thrasher somewhere else. He is really coming this way too. I do not like that. That's where he is. So if I send him over there, Reaper Thrashers have assault cannons on them, and I would rather not experience that. Man, these decoys are great, Wellington these were such an awesome idea. They really made this uh, scenario less terrifying. Yeah, that's, that, that worked out just great. Yeah, I have not been hit by a space pirate drone in a few minutes. You know, I'm kind of wondering if I kind of ran them out of drones or something. I mean... It really has been a while, and it was, like, all the time. So, what I would prefer to do, uh, instead of running off and um, dealing with that, is I would prefer to get the thrusters off of here first. So i got to kind of figure out what I'm doing with this business here. Okay, those are right on the tanks, so that is not really acceptable long term. So, I guess I'm going to move these around. Let's 
so the space pirate raider is at least for the time being um, not sending drones after us so we have reconnected to the reaver and we are going to harvest the thrusters because we are not constantly under assault right now so i've carved out the uh, armor around these existing thrusters and um, we're going to move these we're going to separate them up off the tank a little Energy bit so critical. i'm going to put so i'm going to put some conveyoring in and bump these blocks out one so they're the same height as uh these so they're not inset quite so deeply wow this is so amazing to not just simply not have those um drones coming after me all the time it's just like a revelation like i'm getting so much done um let's see here so two of these reinforced tees how many more of those do we want to have where do we want them to start where, where do we want them to stop actually all of this is going to go At least it is a uh, small grid, you know. At least it is not a uh, piercer. Oh, that's not good stuff. Okay, where? Oh, where are those warheads? Ship, but it wasn't good. Do I even have those thrusters anymore that I cut off? I mean, are they still even here? I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna disconnect from this. And I'm gonna go trawl. For the stuff for the trash i'm gonna just go do that right now and get all the things into the system that we can get i'm very excited to do that because this reaver attack just has me worried that maybe i'm gonna hit my max object limit and lose things I'm just gonna push through that cloud of debris where all of the raider drones are and see what I can pick up. Oh yeah, look at all, there's lots of stuff out there. Yeah, here comes some. Oh, 
Oh wow. Some of the stuff is my materials from wow materials from when the reaver devourer rammed us and blew open the cargo containers you know i mean there's probably uh several hundred thousand ingots of iron piles of steel plate all kinds of things are out here and right now we're getting it all back wow that's a lot of uh A lot of ice there, oh my. Oh, that's interesting. I am just cruising right by that guy, wow. Huh. Okay, let's pull in the magnet. Looks like there's all kinds of goodies there. I see uh, ingots, different kinds of ingots, all kinds of like just bottles and stuff, or all kinds of scrap. Let's see if those gravity, yeah, the gravity collectors are gonna fight each other about the things that are right in the middle. Wow, it's just taking it forever to suck all those items in. My lord. I wonder how many I wonder how much was out here. We're gonna move the ship to the left a little bit here and see if we can get the collectors to pick up the rest of this scrap after it's uh, just over on one side. So let's turn on these gravity collectors now and see what happens. Oh, it can't, uh, it just can't get that. Is it because it's too heavy? What is the deal? I don't know. Still no reverse. Let's get out and uh, pick everything else up. It's all over the ship here. Oh, man. That. Oh, lots of gold. There's a lot of, uh. What is that? Oh, that's why. Wow, okay, so that's 76k of scrap metal, so I'm just gonna, um, move the ship. back on oh man it didn't get in that turn the magnet off Is that just a million pounds of iron ingots? Is that what that is? Is that a gazillion iron ingots? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. So, is it going to be possible? Oh, wow, look at all the steel points. I just need to turn the gravity collectors on. Let's turn them on. Let's turn one of them on. And let's turn its pull strength up. Doesn't care. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
let's go. It's working on it. Wow. You can only move so much material at once. So I did get 13,000 nickel as a reward for killing that reaver. And no, I don't have enough gold to build a jump drive. I have enough silver to build a jump drive if we need silver, but I don't. I, we need gold, so I don't have enough. I should be more... Uh, there should be more ammo somewhere out and there should be hundreds there should be hundreds of cases of ammo out here hmm okay well that's worth looking for um, okay so now we're gonna turn this girl around and we are gonna pointer at begin we're gonna go zooming over there and see if we can pick up several hundred cases of ammunition which are probably just floating around I wonder if, how much magnesium I have I should have a bunch of magnesium too well I don't know a bunch I wonder if yeah, there should be some magnesium out here. There might still be some things floating around out here. Let's see. Man, this takes a long time to turn around. So it may be that... Ammo's all gone. Could be that. I don't really know, but it could be that it's all gone. I mean, you know, it's just out there somewhere, and I'm not finding it, right? Or maybe the grinders on the Reaper destroyed it. I mean, you know, could be that. There's a hundred railgun sabots out there somewhere. I mean, I lost some ammo. If it's not, like, glued to the inside of my ship somewhere because of the magnet, I, I lost some stuff, you know, like, tragedy level, like, lost stuff, right? <laughs> like, 200 and some cases of ammunition is tragedy level lost stuff. I mean, it just is. Well, we're going to have a freaking great time getting these thrusters rearranged on this thing I'm just super psyched to do that it's just gonna make my day make my day that's right Clint Eastwood that's right Dirty Harry make my day What do we have? Did they, they probably blew up my... What is this? There's things to grind up. Oh yeah, they probably did blow up this. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's not good. So those two are good. So one of the first things I'm gonna do here is just Put a weld pad on on this and uh, stick it on the ship. That's gonna go right there. There are two reavers that have decided uh, I am interesting enough to enter the area and come check me out. So we need to get rid of them. They're over there. We send them over here.
Oh, that's great. The decoy launchers. Man, Wellington. Dude, thanks. Freaking awesome. It's just, it's a lot of fun to do that. <laughs> Let's get our stuff here. We're going to get these latched onto the donut. Okay, now we gotta get that thruster that's just kind of floating away. So we're gonna use the inertial dampeners um, first just to uh, get ourselves uh, aligned properly. And once we're aligned properly, we're gonna turn the dampeners off and then just let ourselves drift towards it. This is a ton of fun. I just really like moving the, uh, reusing the pieces, parts, stealing them from the reaver. It's fun. Uh, hmm. Well, let's move, uh, Let's move one of these um, thrusters. We're going to move this one right here. some good progress now. So what are we going to do down here with thrust? Hmm? What are we going to do down here? Do we want to do anything? I think we do. I think I want to put some midline thrusters right in here. I want to move this thruster down too. I want to pull it out. How many blocks down are we going to move it? So if I move it one block, I can get a floor in. I'd like to move it two. So I have decided to expand the profile of the ship a little bit, uh, partially because I want to um, eventually make it airtight and this giant hydrogen thruster is in the way here. So I'm going to pull this hydrogen thruster out two more blocks and then reattach it to the ship. So let's get in here and add in some conveyor blocks so that we can get this thruster reattached. It's a little unnerving to just have the ship in pieces when reavers could come calling. I am getting really good at using these weld pads. Um, it's The more I do it, the less inefficient it is to do it.
There is some super cool stuff going on here. I'm very excited. So, I'm just going to lay some steel down because we need to do that. So now we want to think about how we can add some extra thrusters down here. We've got plenty of extra down thrust. Now we need some extra up thrust. And I think we're just going to extend it right off of the uh, thruster here. Okay, so uh, this is the bottom of the ship now. We moved that thruster out. I still need to rebuild some more of this armor. And... Uh, right here is where I'm going to throw some more thrusters, some more of these hydrogen thrusters. Right in there. Okay, so we're going to put some of these um, some of these ions, these ion thrusters are going to go on top. So we're just going to dump these. We're going to uh, let go of the whole thing right here. That's what I'm going to do. Gotta detach this. It's kind of strange to build a ship with salvage like this because it's um, it takes a lot. It's like a weird, I don't know get them as you go process, get the pieces as you go, and I don't know, maybe it's more organic, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. That's weird. I can't use them because they're proprietary? Is that the deal? Oh. So it doesn't matter what I do, I can't use those. Uh, that's my guess at what proprietary means, huh? Okay, so, or weld pads. We're getting a ton of hydrogen thrust, which is super cool. It takes a lot more time to uh, move them around like this, but I am really enjoying it. rebuild some of this armor I think that, that seems like a good idea I've done a lot of thruster work okay we don't have any ion thrusters and that's what we were gonna put in here so we're gonna get back to uh, having some armor in here We are going to put some more thrusters up at this higher level here. 
We're going to put them uh, to the right and left of the center. That will allow us to put a welder in the middle. Two of them are going to go here. Okay, so we got some stuff going on here. I got some chunks of the reverse ship, like this one and uh, that one out there, and then of course the one right on the front of the ship. I need to grind them up. So they're floating all around, and that's kind of terrible. So I'm gonna build three grinders here and use the tug to grind them up with those grinders. Hopefully that'll work out. So oh, let's get going. Okay, let's take this over to our little experimental grinder pit. It's not really a pit, but we're gonna make ourselves feel better by saying pit. This is definitely not faster than like, I don't know, grinding it by hand. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on with this is that we're making um, making sort of a tray here, I guess, with uh, girder spikes on either side to sort of frame the um, frame the thrusters out here. I think that'll be a lot.
So let's get some steel out and uh, get this all put together. Yeah, I like the general look of that. That looks nice. I feel like while I'm at it, I need to move this thruster out like one, two blocks. If I moved it out two blocks, that would solve the uh, problems, wouldn't it? Hmm. We are not going to do that right now. We are going to fill in the armor around here so that stray bullets don't go inside the ship and break all kinds of important things like uh, explodey hydrogen tanks, stuff like that. Okay. Let's try and lay it out over here. My computer ran out of memory while I was recording and I lost what I had been up to. So what I had been up to was um, working on the armor on the bottom of the ship trying to protect these thrusters and get everything uh, tied back in so it looks decent I also uh, duplicated the girder spikes and I'm pretty happy with how this looks at the moment I think it would be cool to have a, uh, like a command seat in here like looking out <laughs> looking out over this <laughs> uh, anyways this is where we're going to call it for today thank you everyone for joining me for this episode of far from home i hope that uh this found you well and that you enjoyed the content if so please give me a like and subscribe and i hope to see you next time For people who uh, watch the show uh, to the end, there's kind of an Easter egg. If you look at the bottom of my episode descriptions, you can tell how many hours I've played this scenario. I keep that uh, up to date.